Good day everybody and welcome to a brief tour slash update video um, on the British Street Let's Build. It's not quite finished yet, we've got to put in the other row of houses over here, but I'm hoping to combine that with a small MC Edit tour slash guide. Tour? Guide. I meant tour guide. It's a logical step, it's a logical step. I think you can forgive me for that one. Um, anyway, tour. We must do the tour section first. This is going to be very quick, hopefully. I've managed to mess this up about three times um, prior to this. But I haven't been recording in about four days. So, um, yeah, there is that. Bins out here. This is the bins where I live. Ignore these. Um, small garden. Do whatever you want to it. There's something missing from here. What was here? Must have been this. I had to port it over. Had to port this world to um, an earlier version to use shaders. And unfortunately, some of the uh, double plants deleted themselves, so I had to uh, sort of guess where they all were. That doesn't matter though. Let's get inside. Um, only three rooms downstairs, so this should be very quick. Living room? Meh, yeah, generic stuff in here. Diagonal TV I don't think worked on any level, so you don't think you'll be seeing that from me again. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't really see any other solution in this room, unless I put it here. But that would be blocking the light from the window, and that would be very stupid. Oh, man. Throat is actually quite sore now. Um, couches, sofas, nothing special. Just my sort of standard design that I use. I did go with, um, what is this stuff? Diorite. Polished diorite around the base of every room downstairs. I'm not sure why. I had this idea a long time ago. I thought it would look good. Turns out, it's all right. In here, standard living room really, just colour coded again, lots of grey everywhere, and the kitchen is a lot simpler than I would usually like, I mean just buttons up here. It, it works, it works, but I would like to have had a bigger kitchen, but you know what, it doesn't really matter in a house this size. Actually speaking of a house this size, the ceiling is far too tall in this, I made a pretty big, I've, actually I'm going to address this now, I make pretty big scaling errors on my houses. I've decided that um, my houses need to be smaller and I should probably lower the ceiling height by at least one. Whether this impacts on the sort of visuals at the front remains to be seen. I mean, but I think Minecraft's got a scaling problem in general really. So it may not it may not be the worst thing in the world. Outside we'll come to that later, but yeah, this this is um this is what it is inside for now. Lights, mmm, don't really like them, but I didn't really have any other option, really. This was supposed to be a simple build. Anyway, there are only these three rooms downstairs. There's a little cubby hole here where you're supposed to hang your coats under the stairs, but that's it, really. So we should go upstairs. There's no inlays or anything fancy in the wall here, because, again, this was supposed to be a simple build. I got a little carried away. Uh, yellow room. It's very yellow. That's all you need to know about it. It's a great fan of custard. And that's all you need to know. There's a seat inside the window here, which is uh, an accidental um, occurrence owing to how I design the windows. Uh, it's a nice coincidence, I think. Computer, fairly generic. You've probably seen this design before. Nothing special. Here, this room in here is just grey. I mean, lots of old people in here. Funny lamp design, but I quite like it. It's quirky. And a huge hedge as well, because hedges. Bushes and hedges, very good space fillers. Bathroom. Um, the cabinets were a late addition. I thought, let's shake it up in this bathroom, let's try a few new things. Um, jury's out on this, really. I'd have liked the ceiling to be a little lower for it to work properly, but... Eh, you can't win them all. Bath design very different from what I'm used to. I used to put water in the bath, but that's probably limiting me to one or two designs, and I thought, let's abandon the water this time and include a properly good design and a slightly different shower. And you know what? By and large, I think it's all right. Also, I have this towel rack over here, which is something I tried out again. It's not too bad. I quite like it. Follow the blue carpet into the master bedroom, which is Fairly generic again, really. It's, this is like a scaled down version of the Neo Gothic house. If you haven't seen that, go look at the video tour of that and you'll see several similarities. These were built roughly at the same time, so I was in very much in sort of a style mindset. 
that made no sense and I apologize anyway we've got a couple of chairs here where you can stare intently into your lover's eyes or maybe you can give the death stare to your worst enemy before you throw him out this window and into the trash cans below in here shower room that's all that needs to be said really it's just basically a smaller version of the bathroom which is lovely and you can be a massive pervert by looking through this gap here oh, that's that's the only problem i have with the design of this house i did these um half stabs um in doorways on the downstairs and they look really good and i thought well i've got to have them in the rest of the house so just imagine that you can have to use a little bit of imagination here that this works on sub level but it's minecraft i mean good grief let's go outside outside is very very simple as well i've got my uh furniture piled up in the corner rather than out here um it's not because i was lazy it's because it doesn't fit with Minecraft sort of block grid system. Oh, excuse me there. Bit of a belch. This was supposed to be a rotary washing. Oh, rotary washing line. Why did I have so much difficulty with that? Why did I have so much lag then? Never mind. I think this is reasonably successful. I mean, it's not the greatest. You can't really see the string, but yeah, never mind. I can tell what it is. Someone's we're gonna say look, we're gonna come along and say this is a whirling windmill of death used primarily I mean these sheets are being washed because they were covered in blood just a few minutes ago. No one say anything. Over here, standard tree and flower bed setup really. Nothing really too special. You've seen me do that thousands of times. I've put a few things in the shed. Uh, I've got this barbecue here. It's in the shed because this is Britain and oh crap, it's a nice day. Weather set rain. Um, no, I guess. It's actually really warm in here. Um, in fact, let's have a look how warm it is, actually. Uh, 24 degrees in my room. And for Britain, that's warm. All the people who live in, like, Texas and stuff like that are just going to be going... <laughs> and laughing at how puny we are. Anyway, that's that. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Yes, uh, builds. I've got a bit of a creativity drought um, at the moment. I've got a few builds coming, but... I make no guarantees of whether they're going to become let's builds or not, so I might actually have a pretty big video drought. I mean, I've got the MC Edit tutorial, I've got this video I've got now, and then I've got another one which I've written down somewhere but forgotten what it is. Um, so yeah, a video drought might be incoming. Uh, not much I can do about that, really. That's my own fault for not getting on my uh, grind, but I do have a life outside of Minecraft, strangely enough. and. It needs quite a bit of attention. Um, what I'd love to do with these houses is plonk them down in the server and have people like sort of go ham on the interiors and exteriors, do as many or as few as they want, maybe just do a single room. Um, but I don't own a server and I'm not sure if I can plonk this in someone's server and just go, hey look, houses! And it's not finished as well, so there is the, there are those things. Anyway, um, that's that, I think. I think I'll wrap this up now. Um, you can go visit the Planet Minecraft uh, project of this if you want. I mean, there's no reason to, really, because you've seen the video. So, um, unless you're watching this on Planet Minecraft, in which case, good job. Stay here. Give a diamond plus in real life as well, because I'm poor. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for your support on here and on PMC as well. Um, I might be popping up in the WOC forums uh, in a few days' time if I finally decide to get my shit together and actually register. So if you want to actually talk to me, there might be a good place to start. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this tour slash update video, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.